Hi there, Simon and Schuster Young readers. I'm Amy Cherix, and I am the author of Animal Architects. Some of these animals build tricky trap doors. One of these animals makes a palace out of pebbles. And if you think that's incredible, one of these animals makes its own body armor. One of these animals, and you're just gonna have to trust me on this, is actually an interior decorator. It decorates in order to attract a mate. How incredible is that? So I figure if you've ever built anything from a pillow fort to a sand castle, there's something in this book for you. We're gonna hop into my virtual story room and I've got the book all set up so we can read it together and maybe you'll be inspired to build something too. Animal Architects, written by Amy Cherix, illustrated by Chris Sazaki. Read for you today by the author. For Zoe Azadon, with love and hope for the wonderful life she will design and build. And to Caleb and Eliana. Did you know the natural world is a construction zone? Whether they are large or small, in the ocean or on land, animals are amazing architects. Imagine working on a project for 10,000 years. That's what this coral has been doing. The tiny larvae have been building reefs for what feels like forever to create. This undersea city, teeming with life, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the world's largest living structure. It spans an area of 133,000 square miles. It's even visible from outer space. The trapdoor spider covers the entrance to its ground burrow with a door built of silken thread. Long strands fan out from the burrow across the ground, now to wait for its next victim. When an unsuspecting insect steps on the spider silk strands, the burrow vibrates like a silent doorbell. Whoosh! The hungry spider springs from behind its tricky trap door. At last! a delicious snack. For several days, a male satin bowerbird gathers grasses and tiny twigs, shaping them into a hut or an upside down arch called a bower. Soon it's time to decorate. In order to attract a mate, his bower must be beautiful. He carefully places matching piles of colorful petals and shiny shells at the bower's entrance. Chur, chur, the satin bower bird calls. Who will be the first guest? This tiny ant is one mighty mover. The load of dirt she hauls from the anthill weighs more than her body. It's a good thing she's not alone. Beneath the anthill, millions more female worker ants are constructing a colony. Deep in their underground home, the ants dig a roller coaster network of tunnels and trails. Together, these industrious insects can remove 2,205 pounds of earth per year. That's a ton of dirt. A pair of Gentoo penguins combs in an Arctic beach collecting pebbles. Soon the female will lay eggs. There's no time to waste. She needs a nest. The busy penguins pile the pebbles into a round mound. They fill it with soft feathers and moss. When the mother penguin is ready, she settles down and lays her eggs in a palace of pebbles. Black-tailed prairie dogs are expert diggers. Their underground home, called a burrow, is a twisty highway of tunnels, which includes separate chambers for sleeping, eating, and pooping. As the burrow expands, it becomes a dog town. The largest recorded prairie dog town spanned 25,000 square miles and housed as many as 400 million prairie dogs. Cathedral termites mix dirt with saliva and roll it into bricks to build their home. As the bricks stack up, 
a tower nearly 30 feet tall rises from the desert floor to become a termite mound. How do millions of these wee workers keep cool in their high-rise home? The unique shape of the mound stores heat during the day and releases it at night. The termites live in a solar-powered tower. The carrier snail is a clever crafter. Its body releases a sticky goo like glue. Using its muscular foot, the snail attaches nearby shells to its own shell to create body armor. The extra spiky shell might help disguise the carrier snail and discourage hungry predators in search of a soft seafood supper. A busy honeybee sips nectar from a blossom. Once it's full of flower juice, the bee buzzes home to help build a hive. Inside, the flower nectar is passed along to more bees who turn it into honey. They mix the sweet syrup into beeswax. The bees chew the wax and it hardens into glue to shape the hive. Teamwork and beeswax hold the honeybees home together. A beaver is nature's lumberjack. It can gnaw through a tall tree in just three minutes. Next, it floats the heavy log through the water to build a beaver dam. Together, the male and female beavers push heavy rocks into place. They pack mud with their paws. When the beaver dam is complete, they have created a safe place for their family to live and a brand new pond that every animal in the forest will enjoy. The harvest mouse is no bigger than your thumb, but her long, strong tail holds her in place between thick grass stalks while she works. With her sharp teeth, the harvest mouse tears the grasses into strips and gathers them between her paws. She begins weaving a tiny bead in two days' time, the bead grows bigger and eventually becomes a mouse house, a tennis ball-sized nest safely suspended in a forest of reeds. Everywhere you look, animal architects are hard at work, designing, building, and decorating their amazing animal kingdom. 